Yes. Not anymore. Now we know everything. That's what I say. That's all you need to know. If I told you the wage distribution, now think about now that I've introduced our bar, I would say to fit all the people, I got to go out this far. All right. So I know the rent when I run out of people, call that T max. Okay, at the maximum T point, I know R bar has to be the wage. So R of T max equals R bar. Then I know the slope there has to be equal to the wage of the lowest wage guy. And then I just start following my differential equation up that curve until I get to the center of the city. And at that point, I got the way I got the rent in the city. No, we didn't assume that. We did not assume that they live closer to the city. No, it, that's a that's a prediction of the model, right? We didn't start by assume. We didn't say, well, let's assume they live closer to the city. No. In this model, they will live closer to the city. They gain more from living closer. So they will live closer, right? It's really, this is really critical that you understand that we didn't make that. That wasn't an assumption. That was a prediction of the model, right? This model predicts they will live closer to the city. We didn't start with that assumption. We didn't have to say, well, if they live closer to the city, this will be the equilibrium. We said, if they can live wherever they want, this will be the equilibrium. If they possible, they could live in the reverse order if they wanted, or randomly if they wanted. They can do whatever they want. But in equilibrium, this is what they will do. They will sort themselves, just like our earlier people sorted themselves between the A's and the B's. These people will sort themselves out with the higher wage people living closest and the lowest wage people living furthest. And the rents will be determined according to this formula I just wrote on the board. Okay? Yeah? Well, because I, well, I just assumed it was uniform. Then it doesn't matter where it runs out. If there was an alternative, if you made this alternative like sloped, uh, it doesn't matter. It's just where those curves cross would be where we'd end up. The fact that this is uniform is just for simplicity. What? No. There's, no. there's no level of wages that's related to R. R w is the slope. Oh, then those people would not have a house. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, yeah, we, so what if we didn't? What if we didn't, what if we ran out of, what would happen if I ran out of willingness to pay before we got to that point? Then what would happen? Then we would, then we would start at some point. There would be some W min, which would be the minimum wage guy who's willing to pay R bar. We would then follow the curve from that point in. We, it would look just like this picture. It would just follow the curve from that point in, right? It, right? We'd still start at R bar. You agree with that? And we would still use the wage of the guy who lives there as the wage rate. And we would just follow our way into the city. Yeah, then there would be there would they would be irrelevant for this purpose, right? They would they would basically not determine the trap. They wouldn't determine the rent gradient because they're out of the housing market. Yeah. No. No. The 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 price has to be the same. Because the guy who lived 
9.7 miles from the city is indifferent between that and living 9.71. They can't be a jump. No. No, because you always run out of people at our bar. Well, I mean, now you're just assuming it's not continuous. If there's a continuum of people, the last guy is going to, you're going to be at our bar. Rents can, you cannot have disequilibrium, right? You cannot have this land and then the prices jump up to here. Why? That cannot be an equilibrium. Because the guy who lived here would say, hell, I could live a nanosecond further from work and pay a lot less in rents. That could never be the equilibrium. Right? Because the guy who lived right there at the end would be stupid. He'd be saying, <laughs> I could live a nanosecond further and pay a discreetly lower rent. That couldn't possibly be the equilibrium. No matter if there were a million homeless people, right? The number of homeless people had nothing to do with that argument. It's about the guy who was paying the rent that would prevent that from happening. You get, you get the idea? That's why you can't get to jump. What? No, if the land the landlord these these guy these landlords would say, "Come live at my house, and I'll get rid of the pigs, right? Throw I'll throw the pigs out, and you can live there." No, we can't, because the guy next to him would throw his pigs out. Think about it. All right. All right. Well.